Day 686, 22 for 22. Good morning. Hope this finds you well. Please stay in your fight. Do not quit. It's Red Friday today. We have people all over the all over the world uh, f fighting uh, in Syria. Uh, well, at least in Syria. Uh, taking rockets in Iraq and fighting in Afghanistan, plus Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, we've had a rough bit of, bit of time over there lately. We've lost a plane at least. Uh, with the with the crew at least two uh, two dead there and then we've had some more ground forces uh, take some losses too um, it's a dangerous job that we do or that we used to do and whether you believe in their missions or not we owe them our support and if you pray say a prayer if you don't please do what you do Thank you. All right, so I've been talking about the mosaic, and probably not the most exciting subject, but it's basically the tapestry that is you. It is glass and these and able to be shattered. It is painted in the colors or pictures of your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to switch gears from that to a little bit something different. Um, and basically it's kind of just about life in general um nobody and once again inspired by alice in chains i spent a lot of time with them in my head and the their darkness brings out some of my light uh simply because i can relate to what they're saying and i can think about it and i can turn it into something brighter or at least something i can use for myself and others um the premise is that we don't choose to take the path that leads us down. We don't get up in the morning at any point in our life and say, man, I really hope this is a shit day. <laughs> I don't know anybody that gets up and does that. But life will kick you right, in, right square in the nads and put you down. And the thing is, is you just got to get back up. No one, no one chooses to, to take that hit. We don't willingly take that hit unless it's for a brother or sister in combat or, or in, in fighting situations at home, however you want to look at it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, we have to make that conscious choice when we take that shot and it doesn't matter the shot, period. Uh, whether whether to get up again or just stay down and if we stay down we're not dancing with life and we are not engaging in the manner in which we should we should fight for every breath that we have well i wouldn't say fight we don't we shouldn't fight for every breath but we should if we're struggling we do need to fight for every breath and there is nothing wrong with crying there's nothing wrong with being overwhelmed there's nothing wrong with throwing up your hands and i've seen that meme on facebook throwing up your hands and your papers go everywhere and say f this shit and uh and then go collect it up because oh wait i'm an adult i need those things um and that's that that's largely true we we we, we are allowed to be frustrated we are allowed to act as long as we end up in a positive spot, act how we want to, to get, well, I wouldn't say how we want to, because sometimes that could be bad. Um, but we can, we can be frustrated. We can be down. We can be however you choose to be. Just don't let it end you. Um, you know, there's, there's periods of time where you're going to be down. There's anniversaries of bad things happening. Um, you know, in some holidays, depending on depending on you, cannot be so fun. Valentine's Day, I mean, every holiday I think, except well, I don't even I don't even want to say that. I think all holidays, if you let them, can be a bad time. And of course, your anniversaries of your trauma and stuff like that. Um, but we can't let it keep us down. Don't let that conscious choice. Don't let life make that conscious choice for you to stay down. Always get up and always try to move forward. 
hope is a great thing and sometimes it can be hard to find but if you look it is there you can find it you can feel it and you can move it even if it's just a little bit little pinprick of hope you got to go for it and even if you don't keep looking keep looking keep fighting keep going I'm going to do some push-ups and be done for the day here. I'm going to try to make this a short one for y'all. I'm going to see if I can do a regular one. I'm not sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 1 for the Airborne Ranger in the sky, 1 for the infantry, 1 for the fallen. Oof. Well, nothing popped out, so I guess I'm okay. Doesn't feel quite right, but it didn't hurt. That's a good thing. Alright, so some administrative notes. Likely next week, there will be no 22, at least not early. Possibility with the brain fry that's going to occur, probably will not get one in next week. Um, have some uh, work things I got to take care of and it's kind of traveling but local um, and if you have followed me long enough you know when I'm traveling I don't end up doing these my schedule is not the same as it is when I am not traveling so I'm not sure if uh, push-ups will occur or 22 will occur <sighs> I share the videos on from the edge to thriving uh, in my own personal page, 29 Veterans Facebook Groups. I would appreciate any, sh any share that you can give me. And if you cannot share from the group that you find it in because of their security settings, please come to From the Edge to Thriving or Jim Tough and share from there. I appreciate every share. Whew. If you need help, seek help. Get it from friends, family, professionals. There is absolutely no shame and no weakness in seeking help. It is actually a sign of strength to take care of what you need to take care of. Do what you got to do to be here. Bottom line is do not use suicide as a permanent solution to a temporary or permanent problem. You got this. I believe in you and we'll see you maybe Monday, maybe not. But we'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Tough out.